guys, it's Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about different programs to use to add a clickable links in your bio on Instagram. So there are a few different options, so if you're interested in figuring out which one is the right one for you, you have come to the right place. According to Business News Daily, Instagram has more than 300 million daily users and over 500 million monthly active users. So those are a lot of eyes, a lot of people out there on Instagram looking for your stuff. One of the drawbacks early on in using Instagram is that you can only have one direct link and that is in your bio at the top of your Instagram page. Now, there's been a workaround from a couple of different companies. One I've been using for a while called Linktree and then another was just introduced to me by a friend in a Facebook group called Linksta. I have a few different Instagram accounts that I use for different aspects of my business. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Amazon, I have a YouTube channel, I'm all over the place. So I have different accounts to focus on different areas of my business. So I thought I would try out Linksta on one of my accounts where I mostly sell shirts and do a little bit of targeting for one of my blogs. And I have Linktree on my main Texas Gal Treasures account so that we could compare the difference and the options for both. So how do Linktree and Linksta work? Linksta and Linktree both operate in a similar way. They give you one link to put in your Instagram bio and they will house all of the different links that you want your buyers or your followers, whatever you're trying to point people to, they will house all those different links for people coming to your site. So you can choose what those different links will be. Now, both of them have free plans. Links to right now is completely free. Uh, Linktree has a free plan and a pro plan, which I'm going to go into in just a second. So let's take a look first with at Linktree, which is the one I've been using for a while and see the pros and cons of it. And then we'll take a look at Linksta and we'll talk about the pros and cons of that one as well. I'm going to show you both Linktree and Linksta on the desktop and on the mobile version so you can see the pros and cons of both. We'll start with Linktree because that's the one I've had for a while and I will go through the links that I have there for you. So this is my Instagram page, Texas Gal Treasures. I've got all sorts of different pictures here. Some of them are talking about my eBay business, Etsy, all over the place, YouTube. Uh, so I can direct people from different links and tell them that there is a link in the bio. Now not all of my links have that here. So this one was just me talking about a sold item, but this one is me talking about a YouTube video that I just put out about a garage sale ride along that I did. So, so fun, but link in bio. So this directs the person who was interested in watching this to go to my bio and click the link. They select link tree and it takes them to this page. Now this breaks it down so they would have to know that that link was going to a YouTube video. So they will come and select YouTube and then it will take them to my YouTube page, my YouTube channel, where they can find the video that they were looking for. There it is. So it doesn't give you a direct exact link. I can set it up to do that, but I would have a lot of links going down my Linktree page if I linked exactly to that video, but I could, I could do it. So I've set up links to go to all of the different areas where I house my businesses, YouTube, my jewelry group, my thrifting group, all over the place, my website, Twitter, Etsy, eBay. So that houses all of those and they're in these handy dandy buttons like so. The mobile version looks pretty much the same. I'll switch over so you can take a peek at that. Hang on. So again, here you see my Instagram page. I'm selecting my link tree there and it takes you over to my link tree on mobile. This is what it looks like on my phone. And again, I can select my YouTube or whichever link I choose and it will take me to that page like so. So let me exit out of that. So there are some pros and some cons with Linktree. One of the things that is a con, I think, is that there are no thumbnail pictures. So the person has to know that that is what they're looking for. They're looking for my YouTube video and they know to go to that button to find it. However, there are a ton of pros for Linktree. So to access your Linktree behind the scenes, there's a Linktree admin, which can be accessed both from desktop and mobile. So these are some of the pros for using Linktree. First of all, there are ways to assign order to your links. You can move them around 
which one do you want on top let's say I want to make sure that that one video is on top and I keep it up there or if I want to make sure my websites first thing that people hit when they come there they can I can put that up on top so that's the first pro the second positive is that that Linktree offers analytics so you can select this and it will tell you how many times a link has been clicked and if you want more of a breakdown Linktree does offer a pro version which I'll talk about in just a second because I'm thinking of doing it so that's a pro another positive thing about Linktree is also in the pro version you can schedule your links to appear and disappear at different times so that's something I need to find out more about I don't think that that's like scheduling posts which would be awesome because that would save a ton of time if you could just schedule them out uh, and then another aspect of Linktree that I really like is the ability to turn links off and on so let's say I really wanted people to hit that one link I wanted that let's say it was a shirt I was selling I wanted that one link there I could come through and turn off all of these other ones and just have that one link up there so they could find it would be just boom there it is right and then when I was done with that promotion or whatever it happened to be that I was pushing I could come back and turn them all back on or some so that is one of the things that I really like about Linktree now the pro version thanks Alex <laughs> the pro version of Linktree is only six dollars a month this is not an advertisement they're not paying me or anything but I am considering doing this because I'm looking at all of the the added bonuses for doing this uh, day by day breakdown of traffic uh, access to your team to manage Linktree I don't have a team but uh, customizing the, the colors if that's important to you changing the title of your Linktree which I don't know exactly what that means time your links to go live in line with scheduled posts so that would be something that would be really cool to be able to do if I could schedule things out uh, for the future and then retarget your Linktree visitors on Facebook and Instagram so that is again something else that I will have to look into so I am considering doing that because there's a lot of different aspects that I could like I could adjust so there uh, here you can change the appearance Ooh, I like that black and white but there are more options with the pro version to do that so those are the things the benefits of using Linktree I'm going to show you one of my other accounts because I have another account where I talk about mostly shirt design for merch by Amazon and I have it broken down a little bit differently so here we have my designs by text Instagram page this is where I talk mostly about merch by Amazon shirt design and promote some of the shirts that I've created and am selling so here are, is my page it's it's fairly new ish I'm, I have I haven't been spending as much time fleshing it out as I am now but here's my link tree for designs by text so here you can see the different links that I have I still am linking to my Facebook and YouTube I'm linking to my website but here I have so here I've created this octopus shirt so I say you know lots of colors prime eligible link in bio so when they come to my link tree they can see octopus shirts so when they select octopus shirts it takes them to my website where I have linked a lot of octopus shirts now you can do this a few different ways if it's that particular shirt you can have it directly linked to Amazon so that you the buyer just goes straight there but I wanted to show I have different colors and varieties and so I took them to my website instead also let's say my beginning of the end senior shirt same deal got lots of colors and sizes link in bio so when they come over graduation shirts takes them to my website and they can see all the different varieties and colors styles select the one they like and it will take them to Amazon you can have it link directly to an Amazon listing if you want to do that as well so another site you can use to add a link in your bio on Instagram to direct people to your products or sites is Linksta links is a little bit different than Linktree in that they give you thumbnails which I really like 
So we're going to take a look at another one of my Instagram accounts called Beekeeper Foodie. This is one where I share things on my Facebook from earthworms and marmalade, everything from preserving to bees to, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. And, but I've also created shirts that could be added in there as well. I dumped in quite a few because I wanted to see how many links links to would let me add and then I just quit because I, I didn't want to keep going. All right, so let's take a look at how Linksta looks and then we'll talk about how it works. So when I select Linksta from my bio, this is what pulls up. So this one, it automatically recognizes that it's me, uh, but th that's okay because this is basically how it looks to the, the viewer as well. So they will see the exact image from my Instagram account on Linksta. So this is there's a pro here and there's a con here in that there's a lot. I mean, it, it there's a lot to scroll through. So if somebody's looking for something that's way down, like that pickle shirt is, you know, way down here. Um, they click it and then they get to my links to, and right now it doesn't look like, oh, it's not that many, but if you had a ton more, they would really have to do some scrolling to find it. So that's one of the things I was not too sure about. But I do love the th that there's thumbnails. I love that a lot. And then also, um, so you like here, you can access the links. Let's say, okay, oh, I love this donut shirt. Let me go find it over here. Oh, there it is. They found it super easy. That they don't have to read through the buttons and figure out which one the donut shirt would be on. So they can just go straight there, access link, and it takes them straight to my Amazon Prime donut everything shirt. Uh, same thing with, you know, going straight to my Facebook. I wanted to try a few different links to see, you know, does it work the same way if it's taking them to my Facebook page, if it's taking them to my blog, Earthworms and Marmalade, or, you know, to my, this is a, a video that I did about how to preserve figs, drying figs, and will it take it, you know, it takes it, basically any link, active link that you will put into your account, it'll take it there. So there's that. But and then another pro that I really like about using Linksta is that it automatically grabs the link. So there's no with Linktree you have to create each button and give it a name and give it a direction. With Linktree, with Linksta rather, if you create a post, you type it all out and then you drop that link into what you're typing, it automatically grabs it, populates the thumbnail and the, the access link. So you don't have to do anything on the back end. It automatically does that and grabs it and takes it. Um, so that's something I really like too, because it's one extra step that you don't have to mess with more than one. You don't have to create the thumbnail. You don't have to create the link to go with it. And as far as I can tell, it'll, it'll just keep going. Cause I wasn't sure uh, if it was going to stop after a certain number and just start bumping ones off. So list links is also in beta mode. So they're still making changes. They're still updating things. So it could go, you know, in a better way because I would love to see if they were going to continue doing it this way, um, a way to maybe sort them or, you know, or after a certain number of them be able to sort them. I, I don't know how, so I, but another thing I could do is create a post that just says, you know, find all my donut shirts here. And then when they come over, they would find that and all the donut shirts would go there. So there, you know, again, there are pros and cons. There's no way to reorder these. There's no way to turn them off and on other than deleting a post from Instagram. There's no analytics. I mean, so while there are a lot of pros, there are some cons as well. So I, I would love it if they could combine and on Linktree I could get thumbnails and I, I could get it to instantly populate those links over on the back end, but so far, no. So let's take a look at what this looks like on mobile and we will go forward from there. So here's my beekeeper foodie Instagram page on my mobile device. And when I select Linksta, it takes me over to this page here and I can select any of these on my mobile device and it will take me directly to that link and pull up, in this case, the video. So I can stop that. 
So here's a bit of a visual for a comparison between Linksta and Linktree. Uh, the visual on both of them, one is a thumbnail and one is just a button. Are you able to reorder links? Yes, on Linktree. Is there a pro version? Yes, on Linktree again. You can see this, uh, the ability to turn on and off links, the analytics, and the scheduling of links are all available with the Linktree option. However, the one thing I forgot to add to this is the ability to have it automatically populate the thumbnail and the link on the back end, which Linksta does do, Linktree does not. So lots of different options. You've got to find the one that is right for you. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of these you think you would use for your Instagram account. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures and also on Instagram at Texas Gal Treasures. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Figuring out which one is the right one for you could be as easy as pie.